buttons. And welcome to the stream, to the pre-show. Uh, we start the main show at approximately 22 minutes, so skip ahead 22 minutes from now, uh, and you should be at the main game start. <laughs> Hi. Well, I timing. <laughs> right? Are you on your phone today or something? Um, I'm always on my phone when it comes to Discord, but I don't have my headphones. Ah, that explains the noise. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> no worries. I was just curious. Oh, man. They, I just finished up another campaign. I was having, like, so my headphones died during that. Like, yeah, we'll do this. <laughs> that sucks. I've had that happen, but thankfully I got some uh, preset or some really nice headphones now. Oh, they did cost me 250 bucks, so. Oh, lovely. There's that. I just gotta have mine charged enough at the moment, so I'll be able to put those on when we're actually going in and everything, but expect kind of crappy qualities. <laughs> oh, no worries. <laughs> Nothing like a campaign where in the first few minutes you've got people already pranking each other. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> I kind of got a character that's a bit more playful so um she stealth mm -hmm. rolled a natural 20 oh wow while our barbarian, barbarian was getting some water from a nearby lake uh huh <laughs> walked over uh -huh. stared him uh -huh. and attempted to stealth away <laughs> but got like got one. <laughs> Jesus. So, uh, apparently, apparently what happened was, in order to escape him, she crashed down and stood still. Oh my god. Oh, jeez. <laughs> you gotta love D&D &D stories. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Is everything up there? Oh, let's see. I'm just checking some stuff. Ignore me. Um... Okay, stream is up to date. We're good. Um, all right. Oh, uh, you have to look forward to God's voice today. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I do. Can't wait. Maybe we'll even get lucky and hear Rand's voice too. <laughs> oh, that'd be nice. Oh, I've been giving Rand's shit because he was poking the bear earlier when I was getting my ass kicked in a game. <laughs> oh no. I, the only thing is, it's like, I was practicing the voice last night, and it's like, I can't quite get it today, so we're gonna have to see what happens. Well, so far we have a... <laughs> so far we have a Scottish Dwarf in the other campaign, so there you got that to look forward to. <laughs> Rand, stop eating pasta while we're streaming. The hell's wrong with you? <laughs> Rans, you gonna unmute yourself so we can hear some uh, amazing slurping of spaghetti? Hi, Tikva. Hello, hello! God. It's Shell. Oh, well, Rans, you've gotten the entire audience disappointed. Congratulations. <laughs> There was a wild pheasant at my bird feeder. Did you kill it and cook it? I can't hear you, Tikva. I think, uh, yeah, I think your mic's not connected yet. <sighs> I ate spaghetti last night. Well, Rads, why are you eating a pasta dish now? That's just not good for you. That's a lot of carbs. And there's Bastion. Welcome to the pre-show. <laughs> uh, Bastion's, of course, on his phone, so... And Bastion, if you can't actually be here in full, that's okay, man. No worries as far as that goes. Oh, yeah, that's... While we're doing the pre-show, I guess I could set the uh, OBS thing up. Um, Alright. So, window capture... Uh, let's see. Alright, 
let's see. So if I bring it up. Wait, oh, nope, it's not working. Give me a sec, don't, just ignore that. Well, that's up. Um, a, we need to bring that way down. All right, secondly, I gotta figure out why it's not capturing Discord. No, that's not it. Let's see. God damn it, Discord, just pick up. trying to figure it out now it's right now just a big black box oh what's going on i am oh wait is my mic seriously not working i don't hear it tikva um yeah it's not uh on you might want to reconnect or rejoin on later um so it won't capture when oh, i could or that do i have to set something in here all right, uh, let's see. Yeah, d the fucking rim world didn't go well for me. So bad. Stick for still nothing. Um, no. It's connected with the heck. I don't know. What's text GDI? Nope, cancel. That can be deleted. No. Let's see. Uh, browser maybe? Now, maybe? Yep, yep now I can hear you. Okay. I don't know why it was not functioning. I don't know, but it's now really laggy. Uh, let's not use that. Let's see. Yeah, it goes robot every once in a while, but I think you'll be all right. Hmm. Yeah, so capture that. Why aren't you doing that? Um, A, nope, all right. There's gotta, well, I wonder, can I? All right, let me see if I log into Discord on the um, browser, what'll happen. Let's find out, boys and girls. All right. Uh, let's do this one. Boom. All right, add a new browser. All right, that's fine. Let's call that Discord. Boom. Hit OK. Oh, wow. Really? <laughs> it, thank you for the follow, by the way. Uh, what? <laughs> Why is it making me log into Discord? No. <laughs> Fucking hell. I want to use the Discord. Let me fix that. Uh, properties. Uh, yeah, hit okay. Why is it saying I have to log into Discord now? For sure. I'm already logged in though, Discord. Shut up, Bastion, you're not helping. Why is it not working now? Let's see. Um... Why would anything work? I mean, that's a good question. I'm not watching the stream. Well, I'm trying to figure out why this thing's not wanting me to log into Discord when I'm already logged into Discord. Because you guys all have to freaking type, so I gotta figure out how to make it so they can see what you're typing. It. I think it's like an authentication thing. Well, it shouldn't be. Alright. Nope, it's still gonna give me problems. Yeah, well, it shouldn't be security because I'm already logged in. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, here. I'll try. Log out. 
Now, if I start typing something, oh, I don't care what you go over there. So if I hit okay on that, is it gonna show up? All right, wait, oops, God damn it. Let's see, all right, let's see if I log in, if it'll work now. And hopefully it doesn't show my email on stream, because wouldn't that be amazing? Uh, let's see. All right, now let's see if it worked. Oh my God. Why do you look funny, Discord? There we go. Properties. Hit okay. I'm logged in now. Oh my God. <laughs> Fuck you. Piece of shit. Well, I blame you a lot because you're not type. You're all typing, and that's a problem for me. Didn't have this with the other group. Ugh. I'm all not right. typing. No, but the rest of them are. How yeah, to you can get OBS them. show uh or OBS show Discord. Also, like I'm outside to get more signal and there are birds screaming everywhere. Lol, I'm sorry I don't have Wi Fi. Uh and I live in a village How do you live in a village? There's no such thing as villages in the US anymore. <laughs> Yeah, th yeah, there is. No, there are not. They're towns. Uh, we don't so call they're... them villages anymore. We haven't called them villages in years. Um, Too bad, I'm calling it a village. Streamlabs. It legally can be called a village, I believe. Less than a thousand people. I mean, I guess you'll have to look that up. This thing is going to annoy the shit out of me. Alright. Um, widgets. I don't care. Piss off. Thank you. Alright. Um, what did I get a ding for? I don't... Okay, well, it doesn't want to show me my ding, so... Chat box. Alright. How... Shut! I can't read your guys' shit while I'm trying to figure this out. So, god damn it. <laughs> um, I don't want Twitch chat. I want Discord chat. Oh god, these people I'm done watching it. Alright, um Do I sound better now? Yeah, you sound fine. Okay. Um <laughs> View account, the jar, follower goal, donation ticker, stream boss, sub goal, spin wheel. I don't care. Where do I fucking find how to do this? Um so wait. What? The village is 500 people and there's 200 people. What does that make that? How are there 200 people any uh, anywhere? Where the fuck is the goddamn... Like, I want a custom chat box. How do I make a custom chat box? Does that make it a tribe or a clan? No. <laughs> Fuck this. Hmm. If this doesn't, if I cannot get this to work, then we're cutting the stream today. Cause I am not gonna deal with people typing today. If I can't get this damn thing to finally show it, I'm done reading the stuff. So. Well, how bad is my microphone? I mean, no worse than usual. Uh, to make window capture work, open Discord and go to settings, appearances, disable hard work, acceleration, restart Discord. Alright, well, it looks like I'll be right back, guys. So, give me a minute. 
settings. Let's see, Windows settings, I assume, is what it means. No, it means general settings. Where the hell is the settings in this thing? Um, wait, is it my settings or is it this fucking thing's settings? What settings? Go to Discord, open, uh, open Discord, and go to settings. There. Fuck is uh, server settings? Appearance, okay, well, no, all right, user settings, okay, appearance, there we are, um, it says disable hardware acceleration, all right, turn this off if you are experiencing FPS drops, okay, let's try it, hit okay, restarting Discord, let's see if it'll work, boys and girls. Updating. Logging in. Maybe. Let's see now if we can get this thing to work. Alright, now go into window capture. Window capture. Let's go Discord. Hit OK. Uh, well, my Discord is up. Um, well, that's a pretty screen, isn't it? Gotta love that. There we go. Yes! We now have the chat up. Alright, uh, it'd be nice if I could clear out the other stuff, but that's okay. That's all you guys need to see is this portion. I'm just gonna do that. Luckily, you cannot see. I think my server, my Discord server is on there anyways. Alright, I think it's working. Okay, yes, it works. Is Finally! Fucking hell! Can they see your text? Yes, they can now, so I don't have to fucking read everything out. <laughs> what were you saying, uh, it's gone? 3-9. Inches? Feet. 3 feet 9 inches. I was gonna say 39 feet is a... Uh... Nah, I'm so tiny. Little. I had to yeah, roll then... to add to my height, and, um, it was now four. one. It was four, and so I added that to my height, and then I have to go back and add that to my weight, so I'm three foot nine and 39 pounds. So this takes like a uh, little open sphere rather than a staff. <laughs> Also, you know what's I, even funnier is the fact that she's still taller than Zopip. I mean, he is a no. That's true. Poor no. Goblin. Yeah, you're a goblin. goblin. Zopip you is a no. I, uh. I find hard to believe. Rans, Rans is taller than Bastion, and it's just such a hard mental image for me. Really? Is he? He's seven foot something. Bastion's only six foot. He's, Rans I isn't seven. It's because I'm trying. Rans is seven feet tall? He's Rans. like seven Why are, feet. Wait, is that normal for a dragonborn? No, I don't know, it's but not, he's taller than it's Bastion. It's not normal for a dragonborn. The character she sent me DM said seven eight. And I'm like, huh. I I thought Dragonborn height does include seven foot. Let me look. That no, way. it's standing. Yeah, standing well over six foot t uh, on average and almost two hundred fifty pounds. So they're big. Dragonborn are large. Yeah, and he's like the baby of the group. He acts like a little Can village we... idiot, as the guide said. Mm -hmm. Can we please do this? <laughs> so, like, I need a perch. No. <laughs> 
I mean, huh? Bastion's already. I already get piggy back rides from Bastion, so you can claim rights. Wait, how old is the Dragonborn? Uh, by the way, everyone, amateur hour, please switch over to the side quest chat. Oh, side quest chat. Yeah. Okay. That's where we'll be using uh, for the stream, so that way I don't have to pay attention to the other uh, the other assholes uh, typing something. Okay. Okay. We're um, more important. For the next two hours, How yes. Old? All right. How old, is How old are you? I don't know. How old are you? So how old is Rand? Uh, Rand is Dragonborn. Let's see, Ranz's Dragonborn is currently 43, which means... Baby Dragon? 20? Uh, I don't remember what the conversion rate is. Uh, young Dragonborn, real quickly, they walk... Yeah, so he's already... Technically, he'd be considered 50 years old currently. Ranz is an old man. But he doesn't act like... <laughs> no, he's like Ven, but without a crutchety <laughs> issue and, uh, you know, needing a hair. Nice sex drive. Do you guys know how old Gon is? Uh, for a goblin? No, I haven't looked yet. Let's see. Um, uh, alright. So you've got a list as nine. Oh, gods. Yep, maturity is at eight. So she's literally so like you're... 20 years old. <laughs> I mean, my character is 21, so. Yeah, but aren't tieflings mm -hmm. live forever? Forever. I thought they had the normal human lifespan. It said. In the thing. Let me look. If oh. not, then that just means if I don't die in the Red Orc lands, I can <laughs> my uh, Oh yeah. Forever. Tieflings do mature at the same rate as humans, but live a few years longer. So uh, you're on average gonna live to 120 plus. Goblins live to be. Yeah. What was that gone? Goblins live to be 60 years old. Oh, okay. So, yeah, you're really young. So, yeah, I was like, I wanted to make it a really old goblin, but I'm like, crap, I can't do that, because I wanted to actually survive for some time. So, <laughs> just forget about things. that in this campaign. Yeah, Surviving? No Never heard of it. <laughs> Venturing is a... Uh... <laughs> I got a plus four to survival, and I still have almost died like four times now. Yeah, and Rans, wait, so we had a 50-year-old man literally suplex a criminal in the middle of a street and then get beaten up by a grandmother. <laughs> yeah, basically someone just 10 years older than him. Rans, you're like bad grandpa, man. No shit, no joke. Holy shit, that just gave me a whole new revelation of... <laughs> blame his village idioticcy like why he's a village idiot is because he's losing his memory as an old man or he's just doesn't care anymore he's at that age where he's like hey i'll just go out walking around naked what, what are they gonna do about it he's he says he wants to kill everyone in the village i mean it's a city but yeah, yeah mm -hmm, <laughs> fair enough Oh my god, I can't believe it, Rans. You're actually old as fuck. Alright. He's older than I am. So! Yeah, I'm the leader. Welcome to the mainstream. Welcome, Twitch or Discord chat. Uh, we now have it up, so, Rans, you guys can finally see what Rans is saying, so I don't have to read out everything Rans says. It's uh, glorious. Um, in fact, I might just make it a little bit bigger just so that way I don't have to deal with it. There we go. Alright, so now you get to see all the shit I have to deal with. Um, <laughs> so yes, welcome to the game. Welcome to Amateur Hour. If you're here for the Grim Legacy, well, feel free to stick around, but you are here for the wrong game. Um, at this point, we will begin. Alright, so last time we left off, um... Who's Twiatch? Is that Rans? Oh, that's Rans. Uh, yeah, I think it okay. is. Um, alright, yeah, so welcome back to the stream. Uh, what was I saying? Oh, yeah, last time we left off, we were dealing with, we were inside the city. Um, yeah, Bastion, you can still go to, uh, what's it called? Oh, here, actually, I can move that thing in here. Give me a second. Boop, boop, boop. Summon the bot! There we go. So, the bot is now in this chat, so you can roll in here. 
Um, alright. So, as I was saying, last time we left off, you guys had just returned to the city, explained to Greg how you guys screwed up everything, and... yeah. As you guys were walking about, you had decided to spend the night at the inn. Uh, Sabine is, of course, outside the city after um, taming a little uh, winter wolf pup. Um, and the rest of the group decided to sleep inside while Rand's cuddled up with a bird. A giant bird, um, like an emu, in the uh, stables after cleaning the stables out. Uh, and Tikva got herself extremely d drunk while Bastion absorbed the alcohol. <laughs> As you guys wake up the next morning, Sabine returns back to the city, I assume, after a uh, lack of any hunting material. Um, mm. Sab er, Sabine, as you come in, you find yourself uh, accosted, if anything else, by a young uh, dwarvish boy who looks very much like Greg. Like a mini Greg, to be honest. Um, who just seems to walk up to you, hand you a, le a letter... Uh, that seems to be sealed with the Crimson Talon Wax and push a little cloaked figure towards you. Would you uh, like to introduce yourself, Gon? <laughs> okay, time to go. <laughs> Give her a sec. Gon? Gon, he's here. Okay. So yes, Gon, feel free to introduce yourself um, as you're just kind of pushed onto this rather tall elven uh, ranger. I am Gon. Gon is free. Oh, we're going to have one of those guys. Okay, hi, Gon. <laughs> Alright, the boy just kind of nod, uh, looks at you two, nods, and walks off. As you uh, open up the letter... You re it reads, and of course you recognize Greg's handwriting. I found this outside behind the, the trash. It's yours now. Good luck. Why the fuck? Okay. I not trash! <laughs> Do uh, I even want to know? One man's trash, another man's treasure. Even if this ain't treasure. Would you like to describe what Gone looks like? Okay, I'll do that. All right. So Gon is basically is a kind of on the taller side goblin, about three nine. Gon weighs thirty nine pounds. He's got really dark green hair, but it's kind of like a mess. A mess that's attempted to be put up in <laughs> put up in some sort of way. You're not really sure. Gon's color is. Its skin color is green. Kind of like... That kind of burnished copper green. And... Gon has these really vibrant... Yellow... Cat-like eyes. Alright. Gon is like the mo looks most terrifying because Gon likes to smile and shows off all her teeth. Meow. <laughs> yeah, we got Gone is a cat in a goblin costume. <laughs> All right. Oh god, no. Um <laughs> so Gone, from what you were told from Greg after he kind of got tired of you and tired of listening to you talk was that you would be joining a group called the Amateur Hour and you are being sent off to the land of cannibals to be eaten. But you would be paid for it. Oh. <laughs> so as you guys kind of stand on the outskirts of this, oh Jesus! What the fuck? <laughs> as you guys bless stand the on the, oh God, yeah, bless the cleric. Uh, as you guys stand on the outside of the city, um, enter or basically on the at the ent gate entrance, um, you see Tikva and Bastion eventually walk up to you guys. This, you know, the giant warforge, the smaller tiefling who still looks a little hungover, uh, holding her head with a massive headache. Um, sipping tea with to help with her hangover. Uh, you see Rans come have... up. Oh, go ahead. I was just gonna say I'm a herbalism kit, so I just making myself tea <laughs> with regret on my features. Oh God. Um. Gone watching seriously. 
And the last person to show up is a seven foot eight old man uh, covered in feathers. Um, a giant dragonborn. Oh, don't tell. Did he fuck the bird that was in the pen? Did you, Rand? <laughs> Rand starts to sign. <laughs> uh, Bastion, of course, signing. Why do uh, uh Sabine do uh, do I why you have that? So Bastion's a little <laughs> drunk himself. After absorbing the alcohol, he realized it does actually have an effect on him when absorbed. Uh, give him some tea as well. Uh, as you hand him the tea, it does nothing. <laughs> oh God, Dick. God went crazy. Have you two been drinking again? Well, again. <laughs> oh my God. So yes, the last thing you were told from Greg from you lot was that you would be heading out on a boat from a couple days from now, um, and that you have some time to prepare. Otherwise, he only, he only has a couple other minor quests if you're interested, but you would have to meet him back at the Crimson Talon Hut. Can I attune my pipes? Uh, you're gonna attune your pipes? Yeah, go ahead and give me a roll to attune at disadvantage. Because you're hungover. Um, and hey, I'll... it's very good tea. Yeah, I bet it is. Cease the perversion of the burb. Oh, gods. <laughs> I'm reading oh, Twitch God. chat. Yep. Rans is not bad. Um... Nothing at this point. It's nine. Nine? Alright. <laughs> Good to know. Okay, so uh, what is the current plan for the group? What are you guys looking to do while you're in town? I'm going to go back to the elf shack. Okay. I, I want to go into the woods and collect ingredients for potion. Okay. Gone? God looks around really lost and just follows some random person. Well, oh, Someone I should introduce to myself. Hello there, I am Tick for Silver Song. Uh, do you need something? I don't know. Sabine, you came in with her. Do you know if she a new member? Um, well... It says in the letter that uh, he found her in the trash, so and gave her to us. So I, she is. Go not trash. I didn't say trash. Greg well, said you're trash. Go not trash. <laughs> you chose a better point. Nevertheless, I am happy to have you. Hmm. Rand starts sighing, gone, not trash. Welcome to... You have come up with a group name while me and Bastion were out almost dying. <laughs> you might have to repeat that one, Tickfoot. It kind of came up real body. Did Sabine... Me and Bastion were gone. Did Sabine something while you and Bastion were gone? Come up with a group name. Come up with a group name? Yeah, you guys have been nicknamed or named Amateur Hour. That w does remind me. Sabine, do you already have the uh, book or have I not given that to you? Uh -huh. Then that means you guys need to go and turn that stuff in. Magical Wait. interference. Uh, do I have to turn in the so whoever wants to turn it in, uh, technically you guys already sent in the materials, but he is to, uh, Greg is ma having your book made to show that you are an official member of the Crimson Talons. Um, so you're going to have to probably return now that it is the next day. He should have the book done and waiting for you. Whoever does go and gets it will probably be dictated as leader of the group. I mean, I can go get it. Okay. I shall go. All right. To join me on my book quest. Gone is going with you, she said. So Sabine is going off to the elf shop to be, you know, looked down upon yet again. 
<laughs> I'm gonna make that fucking elk like me. You know, making anybody like you is kind of a hard request there. Fuck you, dear. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Nothing like a good cold glass of water and realistic realism of the realization that you are not liked by your own kind. Right. You're one to talk, DM. Hey, you know what? Everyone loves me. <laughs> Says that's all your date. Hey, you know what? My stories are amazing <laughs> and I don't want to hear it. They're an important part. Uh... So yes, Bastion and Rans, are you gonna follow Tikva or go with Sabine? Rivalry. Mm -hmm. Bastion now officially hates Rans. Lil. Oh yeah, because Bastion's no longer the big boy in the group. I feel nothing but happiness. All right, Rans, that's great. Now, are you gonna follow Tikva or Sabine? Uh, alright. I'm gonna go get back and get drunk. Alright, Rans, that works. And Bastion. Bad, I... That's a no, bad no, 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 Sikva. Go, go get the book. We're, we're going. I'm going my other way. people now. Yep. Oh, God. Alright. Um, so Bastion is, I assume, going with Tikva. I'm going to assume since he's driving at the moment or doing something else, we're going to just assume that is the case since he seems to follow Tikva around as her personal bodyguard. All right. I guess he's carrying gone. Um, oh, God. Yeah, carry gone. Oh, carry the small child. I mean, yeah, because gone is now the smallest of the group. Um, gone, the small piece of trash. It's perfect. You're not dead! <laughs> <laughs> All right. I appreciate you. We're going down. <laughs> All right. So, um, as Tikva, Gon, and Bastion head one way towards the guild hall. Um, Al Sabine heads another, or heads towards that elven shop from yesterday, and Rans heads back to the inn. Rans, we're gonna deal with you first, cause I want to see how badly you screw this up. <laughs> All right, Rans, give me some constitution saving throws. About three of, or uh, one for as many drinks as you want, um, which is a d20 plus your constitution saving throw modifier. So, Rans, as you arrive back at the inn where you are fluffed up by the uh, bird um, in the stables, uh, the young uh, the young barkeep slash uh, tavern owner slash inn owner looks upon you and says, "Yes, uh, may I help you?" Um, he looks at you and says, Stable boy. I truly appreciate you cleaning up after those birds. Alright, Rans, you're gonna order, you'd like a drink. Alright, he says, ah, yes, finest ale we have for you. He turns around and starts, oh, oh, pl or starts pouring from a keg. He sits it down for you. It's a dark brown ale that smells of a strong wheat. Uh, sent. Go ahead and give me a con save, buddy boy. Let's drink this down. <laughs> oh, I can't wait to see how Rans does. Uh, Rans, you roll your straight or your uh const or you roll a d20 with your Constitution saving throw, which is a uh plus two. D20 plus two, buddy. 16. All right. As you down it, it tastes of strong hops and has a very strong bread smell. <laughs> All right. You feel warmer now and the drink goes down easy. Are you going to order another rounds? gods we're gonna have our first thanks you sire well you're not drunk at all Rans. you're a little warmer but that's about it the ale isn't hitting you that well 
You've got a strong constitution. You're an experienced old drinker. <laughs> this is nothing like the brew from when you, where you grew up. Old dragon whiskey, you know? That stuff is uh, some strong stuff. Something you should definitely give to Tikva next time you're, uh, you guys go through the Dragonborn lands. <laughs> no. <laughs> he j the, boy <laughs> the boy just nods and says, Ah, of course. Have a good one. All right. Uh, Sabine, as you finally make your way over back to the shop, you find an old el the old elvish man working on something with his fancy goggles, uh, poking at a crystal that, th that seems to light up and mm. give off a poof of smoke every time it does. It smells of lavender for some weird reason. Hello. Oh, you again. What do you want? Just kind of uh, starts to play with his temples a little bit, rubbing them. Sabine? No, I'm here. I'm um, thinking real quick. Think faster. Shut up. When the cleric is the competent one. <laughs> okay. Um. Fancy goggles you got there. Okay, listen up, young lady. You have two options. Buy something or get out. I can't have a friendly conversation? No. Do you know why I left my homeland? Because you hate conversating? Get out of my shop before I call the city guard. <laughs> I'll be back tomorrow. You better not be. I will. Oh, he just sighs and goes back to poking this crystal. It screams. Um. <laughs> all right. So, Tikva, Gon, and Bastion, as you uh, finally make it back over to the guild hall, going through the noblesman's district, seeing a few dwarves chatting here and there about nonsense, um, you manage to make it to the t uh, area of the Crimson Talon. You notice that the guild um, section of town, where the their own personal inn is, as well as a couple of small shops that have been set up by other groups, um... It seems to be a little more lively at this point. There are about seven other groups, it looks like, that are around here uh, shopping. Uh, mm -hmm. Mixing of races, uh, mixture of symbols. None that are famous outright, but many like yourselves who have kind of just joined in. What would you like to do? Gone is eyeballing all the trinkets. <laughs> there, oh, are no. many, there are many a <laughs> trinkets. There are many a very shiny trinkets. Any particularly eye-catching? Um, quite a few, but you get the feeling that they'll probably castrate you if you try and steal them, and you don't want to know how they're going to figure that one out. <laughs> Castration. Castration, <laughs> yes. We're just going to leave it that. And absorb the rest of it. Oh, God. Bastion, you should get the dragon armor. Yes. That will, uh, as you guys do arrive into town or into the area, um, you do see that grapes, gra uh, Greg, uh, Greg, seems, yeah, grapes, Greg, that's his cousin, the one that got away, um, <laughs> well, he didn't kill, um, you see Greg is yelling at someone about something or other, uh, he's been, looks like he's getting very mad at someone with a very dark black beard, um, and the guy, the very tall elven looking man seems to march out, slamming the door behind him, angrily walking off. Madman. Very mad. Oh boy. Greg just kind of notices you. I'm going to tuck Gon under my arm and hold him like a football. So he, she does, doesn't steal anything. Gon, are you Please gonna. Don't. Gon, are you gonna try and resist? Gon is flailing and hissing. <laughs> All right, Gon, give me a strength saving throw to see if you can break away from the grip. Bastion, <laughs> give me a strength check to see if you can hold Gon. <laughs> we just do it in here. Oh my god. Oh, never mind. Wow. <laughs> oh my gosh. 
<laughs> wow. <laughs> do you not have any I mean, strength at all? I did. I do have a plus one, but I was going for the D twenty oh, okay. first. Yeah, you can do it. You can actually put uh, forward slash R D twenty <laughs> plus one um, on here. All right, but that works. So you got a two. Bastion gets a seven, barely managing to hold you down and keep you wow. from escaping his arms. <laughs> what does he do? Cover himself in butter? Yeah, yeah, I, I mean, it could be grease. Who knows? The alcohol that Bastion absorbed. <laughs> All right. Uh, as this is happening, Greg seems to see Tikva out of the corner of his eyes and, say, and yells, Hey, get in here. Uh, coming. And I'll walk over. Slightly scared. So as you open the door and go in, he just sits there and stares at you, this very bald dwarf. Very angry, bald dwarf, and you can feel the uh, the back of your mind being crushed. You feel like it's the entire space around you is enclosing us slightly. That goes um, for every. That goes for both Bastion and Gone as well. By the way. God no like. Then God go. <laughs> uh, Bastion set her down. <laughs> oh my God! Greg just looks at you a lot and says, "All right." Now, let me be clear on this, as he kind of just sits there and rubs his eye and looks at you a lot, glares at you, Tikva. I've got your book. You screw up one more time, though, and I'll bury you out back like my four sons. While that is happening, Gon's going to kick Bastion's ankle and run off. <laughs> Oh my gosh. As you get to the door, Gon, you suddenly feel your entire mind start to close in around you. You feel the wall is closing in and can't seem to move. Don't anger the door. Greg just looks at you, Gon, looks in your general direction, says, Oh, god damn it. Why? <laughs> uh, anyways, now that you found the trash we were sending your way, I have. God, no! <laughs> I have a simple request. Well, two to be honest. First, who's the leader of your lot? Uh, wasn't it God? I don't think we discussed this actually. He says, "Congratulations, giant <laughs> robot dude! You are now the leader of the group. Enjoy <laughs> our talking set of armor." Bastion. And he hands you a book made of bone. I mean, he's most likely to protect it. So this item reads, a cheap bone book that uh, allows those of the Crimson Talon to write the names of their allies and always keep in contact with them through a telepathic message. The cover is made of simple bones and red hide. A name is carved into the cover with a crimson talon below it made of blood of each members. You now realize that as you were sleeping in the night, someone may have come and pricked, uh, pricked you. Not in a good way. Uh, on, the on the first page, uh, it shows the date you joined the crimson talon as March 22nd AS. Uh, the pages are simple and rough and are magically updated each time someone swears to be an ally. This book also seems to upgrade as the group gains more powerful allies. The center of the cover has a crystal that shines when someone is calling. So. Uh. <laughs> Bastion. God damn it. I've gone teach you to read. I want to watch, listen to that. Um. Oh my god. Um, I'm yeah. always willing to help. Oh no. Alright, so yes, as uh, Greg looks at you a lot and says, Alright, now that you're, you've got your leader figured out, I have a second request. And he points at Gone. He says, Get that thing as far away from this city as possible. <laughs> Do you know how she got here? If I had to guess, it has to do something with the annoying cultists that have been showing up in the last week. Because someone, for some reason, released a forgotten god. He looks at you, uh, looks you guys dead in the eye. 
speaking of cultists, did you want me to tell you what happened on the mission with Grim Legacy, or have you been informed? Oh, I've been informed. Don't worry, I watched you the entire time. And he pull. It kind of shoves this crystal ball that was off to the left that looked like more of a decorative piece than anything over in front of him. And says, "With this, I can scry on pretty much any of you without much difficulty." So you saw the gas bomb incident. Oh yes, I can't wait for that file. Uh, make anything from helping the the crew because I gotta keep pay, uh, paying that dragon thing. Oh yes, yes. And he pulls out a sack of gold and pushes it forward, forward Bastion and says, here, payment for you and Tikva for your services and thankfully not having to me to pay your life insurance. He takes a swig is, out of a brown mug. Yes? Is that all that you needed to tell us about? Oh, yeah. The other thing is, get in the back, the doctor will see you, uh, Tikva and Bastion. You know the drill. And he just smiles. And with that, as you guys head into the back, uh, what the tall, a, a taller, older elven gentleman, um, who looks very, uh, almost Rand's age at this point, seems to come out with a long beard. One of the few elves you've met that actually wears a beard. Um, it's a long gray and with a lot of more peppermint of different colors of gray in it. And he looks at you a lot and pulls out what looks to be a leather glove and puts it on his hand and just smiles and says, time for your checkups. I want to make an investigation check to see what's happening. <laughs> okay, feel free. <laughs> Roll for investigation. <laughs> Prostate exam time. Where am I doing this? Uh, well, you're I not being asked, John. Oh, yes, Tikva? It's when? the 12. 12, okay. Also, I don't have a prostate either. Yeah, no shit. Um, <laughs> so, no, Gon, you're just basically right now lying on the floor at the doorway, being having the walls closing around you as your mind <laughs> seems to be being fucked with by Greg, the Alethian. All right, as, uh... As the doctor looks at you, the uh, you realize that this is a standard procedure for any of the um, members of the Crimson Talon and how they are, quote unquote, uh, quote unquote it gain uh, uh, power. Gain, uh... So, this is uh, as you remember the tattoos that you guys were given on your back with numbers and on it that explained a bit about how strong you are and where you're from. Um. No, Rams, no. It's just Bastion and Tikva who are here uh, with here with Gon. Um, so, okay. yes, Tikva? Are they just tattoos? They seem to be magic tattoos that popped up as soon as that book, or as soon as you were handed the book. But I can't see my back. Nope. So what does it say? Good to know. Bastion, Good. check my back tattoo. <laughs> Well, you, you're, are you going to take off your top in front of Greg, the doctor, and, well, I mean, guess God no. really doesn't care. All right, I figured as much. So as you guys... Uh, yeah, so as you guys go into the back as the doctor leads you, um, he hands you both a simple drink of a green herbal-like tea liquid and says to drink it all and quickly. It smells of a strong mixture of uh, natural earthy to or earthy smells and Tabasco sauce. Can I make a medicine check? Sure. I got 18. It seems to be strong enough to knock your ass out. Oh boy. Doctor, what is this for? Well, dude, the, um, <laughs> looks at Greg as Greg kind of menacingly stares at him. Um, it's medicinal. I, why do we need this, air quotes, medicinal? <laughs> <laughs> I 
didn't read anything about this when I was Let's just say what's about to happen is really painful and you don't want to feel it. Uh, can Bastion even drink it and get knocked out? Oh, it'll knock out a, a full Yuanti prince, the 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 gigantic creatures. There's, you guys may be familiar. I've done. I've just given a small sample of it to one of those fluffy Oscar squirrels, and it knocked it out. If it can knock one of them out, I imagine you know. Gone continues to scream in the background. <laughs> I'm gonna hold my cup up to Bastion in a cheers gesture. All right, as you two. Uh, Cheers and down the hatch it goes. As soon as the first bit hits your lip, you everything goes dark. The room feels like it's spinning around you and you feel hear a thud, but don't feel anything. Next thing you wake up is about three minutes later uh, from what you can see on the clock on the wall as uh, you feel a little stronger. Congratulations. Um, well, why did Bastion get moved? You move him back. Oh, there we go, Bastion. Okay. Whoa, what was that? One sec. Alright, so yes, Tikva and Bastion, you have now leveled up. You are now both level three. Wow. <laughs> what's in the juice, man? No, wait, what's in the glove? Um, what was that, Tikva? I said, I want to know what's in the glove. In the glove? Um, well, that, and you notice at this point that he's not wearing gloves anymore as you wake up. Um, like she says, ah, the glove is just to make sure to keep things sanitary. I really don't enjoy touching you adventure a lot. You usually smell and reek of something. There's typically some sort of disease on you, you know, it's just not worth it. Yeah, yeah, it's fine. Yeah. Can I ask what you do? Or is there like a contract that you can't? Wait, why I can't say what's in the drink? Is that what you're asking? No, what you did after we were knocked out by the drink. I did my job that I get paid for and I've been sanctioned by the crown to do. Uh, no sharing medical secrets, I see. Listen, just this, in the last two weeks, I've had to literally sew up so many wounds, including a second butthole on a human that got created by a goblin. <laughs> I have yet to figure how that worked. <laughs> there was so much poison, I can't tell you how bad that was and why that man didn't die. <laughs> I'm going to offer him a cup of my herbal tea I made earlier and be like, sorry, I don't have a. He looks at you and turns down it and looks to Bastion and says, no, no, you cannot see a, a cup of that drink. We're, we're okay. I'm going to keep this to my I'm bat self. Can, can I read can Bastion's I read back tattoo now? now? Ooh, whoa. Uh, yeah, as you read his back tattoo... Um, let me pull up what it says. You see a giant two at the, or a giant three at the top of his back. Um, an S that says 15, a D that uh, next to it, 16, a C that sa uh, has next to it, 15, an I that has a 10 next to it, a W that has an 8, and a CH that has a 12. Is it a Yes, it is. So, on my back, there's a negative strength. Well, yeah, basically. So, yes. Um, at this point, you see Gon is kind of hovering in the room. No longer is she being tormented by Greg uh, with the continuous words of you are trash flowing through her head. Did Gon get... Sir? Okay, I want to make sure Gon wasn't server muted. She muted herself. Gone, if you need to learn how to unmute yourself on Discord, it's the little button next to your name, just to make sure. <laughs> Alright. So, uh, Gone, as, yes, you are now hovering in the room. You see that uh, Tikva and Bastion get up, the door is opened, and are just standing there kind of wobbly. 
This has been an interesting week. God gives them an unsure look. I feel, I feel like how you look right now. <laughs> Uncertain. I was about to say that could go really mean. <laughs> Bastion, God No! Damn. No, I meant her expression, I... Uh-huh, uh-huh, I got you. <laughs> yep. Let's, John, do you want to, let's, everyone, let's go. We have the book. Got herbs to collect. All right. Uh, as you start to head out, Greg just kind of smiles at you, Bastion, for a sec and says, Ah, to be young again. And Gon's gonna hiss at him as they leave. As you hiss at Greg, Greg just smiles, points a finger pistol at you, pulls the trigger, and you feel a strong presence in your mind crushing you again. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go before she gets mentally murdered. Bad shit. Can you, like, drag gone out before she bites Greg? <laughs> oh, please bite Greg. I want to deal Bastion. with this. Bastion, as the new group leader, you have to hurt her out. Uh, I'll Bastion pick. picks up Gone and Gone lets out a screech. Gone screeches. And learn is starting to learn to accept her no pl new place in life. <laughs> oh, and after her, her, just ra just like flails. <laughs> Here, do you want a cup of tea, God? No. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Bastion. I don't have anything else to offer. Bastion just pats your head and says it's okay, <laughs> green person. Oh God. <laughs> I need those. Um, at this point, you see that Rans comes walking up, uh, kind of acting tipsier than he is, and Sabine seems to be coming up a little more annoyed than she normally is. But she does have a little puppy following her. What? What? Tikva, I can't hear you. <laughs> Bad robot, down. <laughs> Still no. <laughs> nope, still can't hear you. Gon's gonna screech at dog. <laughs> at at dog? Is that what you said? At the dog. Okay. At the dog. The dog cower. The wolf. The wolf pup cowers behind Alice. Alice, where? Who? Or huh? Sabine? Sorry. God damn it! Your fucking name. <laughs> God. So annoying. Uh, fifth, fifth wall break. God damn it. <laughs> Bastion holds up gun. Are you fucking Mufasa in her now? Nope, Tikva still lagging. Very badly still. Gone is failing like crazy. Gone, you start to hear a uh, drum, uh, very strong drum music in the background and feel a sudden pr light presence on you like a stage light. <laughs> Akuna Matata, yep. Wow, Tikva, you're still robot -y. Come on, try it. You might have type for a little bit. It's bad. Oh, shit. My D20. No, my player killer. Don't leave me. I can't afford to lose that dice yet. All right. So, as you guys are standing around and Gon is yelling at the pu the wolf pup while being held up in the air uh, by Bastion, <laughs> like little Simba at Pride Rock, um, <laughs> the, uh, a few of the gu uh, other guild members are walking by looking at you a lot with weird, very skeptical and confused looks, but continue on with their business. The air smells of uh, cooking meats and strong ale. Um, oh, um. Yes. Is the what is it the the the, the 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 carnival the carnival thing tent? Is the tent open or? You didn't see the tent when you got back to town. Mm. Uh, Tikva says, Bastion, let's go get the armor because I have to go. God damn it, Rans! Go post that in general. 
causing me problems. Um, <laughs> Bastion, or Tickfoot says, Bastion, let's go get the armor before I have to go collecting ingredients in the woods. All right. Uh, Tickfoot, just give me the list of the ingredients. I'll go do it myself. Sweetie, Click please her? type. Please. God, collect stuff. <laughs> God, like collecting stuff. Uh, well, Ready. good question, Tikva. You've never made a healing potion before. Damn. God damn it, God. <laughs> Let me roll medicine or something. Feel free. Many of people like stuff gone. Rand signs. Gone like shiny stuff. I will mention, Gon, you are being held by a shiny suit of armor. Gon that... is totally not trying to pull off one of the, <laughs> one of the pieces in the middle. Uh, she's while flailing, carefully trying to pull it off. You also notice there's a screeching bush on the side of his belt. Uh-oh. Uh, 21. Yes, you know what type of herbs you're looking for. You know that you're looking for a very red, a rare red flower that seems to grow in these parts. Um, you don't recall the name off the top of your head, but uh, you do know exactly what it looks like. Bastion gives a gone silver. one silver to distract her. Oh, shiny, pretty. <laughs> and this is a cleric of death. <laughs> <laughs> it's always the simpletons that are the most dangerous. What's Gon's intelligence? I'm just curious. Gon, let's see. What's your intelligence? Eight. Oh, okay. That explains a lot. All right. Charisma uh, six. Yeah. All right. Uh, Tikva says, Gon, why don't you help Sabine get herbs for me? Herbs. Plants? God help. Well, come along, little one. The puppy, uh, the wolf pup seems to cower away from <laughs> God. I gently pick up what? the puppy and, uh, calmly reassure. God doesn't like, God doesn't know what is. Do not worry, I have the list. I'll tell you what they are in a minute. I have to make sure my little pup is okay. <laughs> Can Gon ride your puppy? What is? Gon points at the pup. Oh, the, the pup. Uh, it's a winter wolf. Small. Indeed. Yes. Gon tries to escape Bastion's grasp. Alright, I assume Bastion just puts uh, Gon down at this point, letting you go free. To go and run Gon... with Sabine. <laughs> Gon cautiously approaches the puppy and pokes at it. Or attempts to poke at it. Uh, does a four hit your armor class? No. Okay, the pup tries to bite at your finger as you poke at it. Gon screeches again. <laughs> bad! Bad! The pup seems to cower away into uh, Sabine's arms more and more. Rand God. seems to start point uh, signing. Gone. puppy is aggressive though. Do not get close to. Or gl too close. Give love. Give love. God is now going to search through back <laughs> and pull out <laughs> and attempt to give it the puppy. What are you pulling out? Piece of jerky. Okay. The pup seems to bite it out of your hands and kind of pull back as it seems to chew and gnarl down on the thing real qu uh, rather quickly. The poor pup. God, he just kind of stares on his shirt. Suspicious and unsure. <laughs> Alright. 
Um, okay, so, Rans, are you going with Sabine and Gon, or are you going with Tikva and Bastion to go shopping? Oh, no. Or are you going to go do your own thing, Rans? Uh, hungry puppy, uh, it's dragon armor, don't. Don't come with us, last time ended up with you unconscious. I go with Gon and Sabine and puppy. Yeah, what, uh, Sabine, what are you gonna name this pup? I'm, I haven't thought on that yet, um, <laughs> give me time. Alright. Small one bite, harshly. I like that name. No! <laughs> no! Alright. Um, so, uh, Sabine, Gon, and Rans, uh, as you start to head towards the city, Tikva and Bastion head back to 10k shop, uh, or 10x's shop, god, what, 10k, I've been doing too much finance homework, um, 10k is the cousin who does your taxes and steals all god, your money. God, can I give, God gives Rans a look before walking off and not answering question. <laughs> oh, god, um... So yes, we'll start with Tikva and Bastion. As you make it back to the shop, you see Tenex is kind of rolled out by his sons. Um, he's got, he seems to have actually gained weight since the last time you saw him. Last time you would have guessed him to be around 450 to 500 pounds. He's probably closer to six to 700 now. And seems to be oh chewing boy. on a giant thing of uh, chicken. And he just jolly continues to gnaw on this bone, polishing it almost clean. Uh, yeah. Uh, let's see. Uh, yeah, so Bastion, uh, 10x just kind of looks at you waitingly as you two have, uh, kind of walked up to a shop as he continues to swallow the entire bone, cracking it open and licking it. He nods and smiles and says, you know what? That's why I like this, uh, suit of armor. Nicest guy I've ever met. <laughs> great man, great man. How may I help you today? He waits for both you, uh, Tikva or Bastion to answer at this point. Uh, did you get, alright, did you help? Ah, uh, yes, yes, the boy finished the armor, although I am charging that damn dragon for my, that, ha that hammer he ruined. I tell ya, nothing worse than an unpolite customer, but give me a second. And he starts to look, turn around and try and get up. Physically rolling, trying to roll back and forth as he's trying to move, and you can just smell this stench of rot coming off of him. Um, <laughs> and he continues just to rock back and forth, trying to stand up, and finally he just kind of starts to get winded and says, Give me a minute. And he looks at one of his boys and smacks him upside of the head and points <laughs> to the back of the shop. Boy kind of slowly jogs back. Ah. Uh, Greg rewarded you with almost 200 gold pieces. You're about 199, uh, gold pieces and 9 silver pieces. Greg shorted you a silver piece. Um, and he says, yes, I have some armor for you. Ah, uh, um, who will be, uh, taking the armor? He looks to Tikva and Bastion. Oh no, God knows about the gold. <laughs> Nothing shinier than a gold piece. She can smell it. Eight silver pieces, gone has one. <laughs> Alright, yeah, so Tikva and Bastion, who's uh, taking the armor? I assume it's Tikva? Yep. 
Yes. Okay. Let me add that to your character sheet real quick so you can uh, go ahead and see your new armor. Also, Tikva, don't forget to level your character up to level three at some point when you get the chance because you're going to want to do that. Uh, da, 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 da. Let's get that going. All right. Do, 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 do. Where is it? Boom. He hands it to you and smiles and says, Yes, uh, it's the best. Um, do you resist? Do two resistance mean immunity? If so, I'm immune to fire. Yes, two resistances. Oh, no, two resistances means you just continue to cut the thing in half. Or uh, you cut it in half. So, yeah, it's basically like a super uh, immunity. Um, so, yes, take the, he hands you the armor and says, Ah, yes, this is a... Uh, Fine work. The boy has uh, rather outdone himself this time. Although, you know, with a broken hammer, I do expect uh, compensation at some point. Otherwise, it's all yours. He smiles and says, Ah, of course. The kid has been learning from the, bre the best. Thank you. I appreciate uh, you informing that damn dragonborn. <laughs> I tell you, next time I see him, I'm having his hide and turning into a full skin suit for me to wear around the shop. How pretty I will look. And Ew. Nice and gorgeous coppery color. I believe it's copper, right? Silver. Yeah, sorry, silver. Ah, potions, potions, potions. Um, well, we've had a shortage here as of recent, so... I'll tell you what. I'll give you one for ten silver pieces. He continue. He starts to stroke his beard lightly. Uh, all right. Bastion's got the coin purse. Uh, let me pull that up. Let's see how much gold does he have. Uh, let's see, da, da, da. so he would have gotten 199 gold pieces and 9 silver pieces. I don't know if he added that to his equipment. He, uh, has not. So, let me add that. Oh, god damn it. Uh, 243 plus 199 was that? 243 plus 199 is 442. And nine silver pieces. All right. So he has 442 um, gold pieces. That's a lot of gold for him to be carrying around. <laughs> oh, yes. You can afford healing potions. Um, there we go. Gon's shiny senses are going off. Yep. Bastion, the gold looks heavy. Do you want me to carry some? Oh, that is the perfect line from any great thief. I'm a wizard. I mean, yeah, you keep telling yourself that. I and I have morals. So do most thieves. All right, uh, so do you, uh, 10X waits uh, patiently and says, so, is it of interest? Are we buying potions or not? Ah, well, I can understand how a uh, handsome walking set of armor can truly be uh, tired. Long day. Uh, you give the 99 gold to Tikva. <laughs> Gon's uh, shiny senses get stronger. Um, currently, I have about 15 uh, healing po basic healing potions in my inventory. Um, let me see. What other... What? How much of everything else do I have? Um, give me a second. He looks at you and says, ah, I've got a few uh, greater healing potions. 
Um, and I've got about three or four. I'll sell you those for five gold pieces. And I've got, I do have a staff of healing, but that'll cost you 200 gold pieces, to be honest, at this point. Um, and I've got one potion of healing uh, for the superior make. For that, mm, 35 gold pieces. Uh, let me check. I'm just writing this out. Um... Also, did you get rid of that dragon heart by chance? He says, yes, uh, I tossed it into a stew this morning. Um, fed it to some of the needier who, need it, uh, who needed it. Uh, and as far as it goes, um... I do have a bag of holding for sale if you're interested. It'll cost you about 35 gold pieces, though. Of course, with your continued support. And he hands you off a bag of holding. Let me add that to your character sheet. Oops. And just kind of smiles and nods as he hands it over to you. And says, all right. So, were you interested in buying healing potions or not? Uh, three greater healing potions and four basic healing potions. Alright. Uh, let me add that to your inventory, Tikva. Alright. Equipment. Add... Uh, puppy. What? Your puppy. You do, because he doesn't like to shut up, unfortunately, when he's uh, excited. Alright. I'll be fixing that momentarily. Um, and for <laughs> the basic ones. You afraid that on stream. <laughs> Alright. Alright. There you go, Tikva. Now you have the potions, and make sure to subtract the gold out of your inventory later. I'm going to go mute that dog real quick, so we'll be taking a quick five-minute break. I shall return shortly. Feel free Why do I have a feeling you're going to kill the dog? I had to move to a quieter place that my dogs would have gone off. Or have been going <laughs> off. You're fine. Oh, this is gonna be so much fun. <laughs> oh, it is. Sigma, try speaking. Oh! <laughs> Okay, oh that explains it much. Can't hear a word you're saying because it's so broken up. It's okay. Mama Sabine is here for you. You know what's going to be funny? Do you want to know what God's sleight of hand is? What? <laughs> Just a plus one. So if God tries to... It's gonna be fun. Yep. Alright. <laughs> Couldn't hear ya. Uh... What? What is it? I hear the doggo is good. Good thing I'm wearing headphones or else Bowie might have gotten excited or scared. All right, welcome back. All right, where was I? So, yes, as you guys managed to finish up your shopping, is there anything else that uh, Bastion and Tikva that you need? Uh, 
Um, I'm going to assume that's a no since I can't I don't see here either of them. So I'm going to jump over to the other players. All right, gone. Owlis and Rans, as you guys find yourself finally Who is this Owlis? Fuck off. God damn it. You know what? Fuck you. <laughs> nope, nope. Fuck you. <laughs> there you go. Uh, that forks. God damn it. Won't let me do my freaking thing. What? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, a little bit, but not nearly as bad. <laughs> I'm gonna fix this damn thing. There we go. Th save it! Fucking piece of shit. <laughs> there we go. That works. Alright, um... I don't have a bag of holding it. DM glares angrily. I gave it to you! Relax! It's in- It's right there! I'm looking at it right now. Go refresh it. <laughs> Alright. Um... As I was saying, yes, so... Uh, Sabine... Rans and gone as you guys find yourselves outside of the city uh, in the forest You see that most of the mountain dwarf camp has seems to have uh, picked up and left um, Those few stragglers that are left um, Are currently uh, still kind of getting their small the small tents set, set up and gone and seem to be enjoying themselves joking and laughing hmm. So can I oh, yes, never mind go ahead never mind nothing oh. Well, okay. All right. So feel free to uh, Sabine and uh, Rans and Gon go ahead and roll perception checks to see if you can spot this plant that uh, Tikva described. How dare you change your name? <laughs> Plus one. Oh, that's not bad. Wow. Leave it to the intelligence of eight to figure out where the flowers are. All right, that's tw I Jesus. mean, technically, pretty things. Yeah, there you go. That's all that matters. Uh, it's her nose. Oh, don't insult. Why? Why insult Damn. the goblin? That's mean. That's some fucked up stuff. Uh-huh. All right, Rans. Roll your... Oh, yeah. Roll your perception check. Come on, Rans. I know you can do it, buddy boy. God, slow on the draw tonight. <laughs> Sabine, I swear to God, I will change your name back. <laughs> what did I do? <laughs> Annoyed me. Rans can what? explain that one. Me? Annoy you? Dan, you're crazy. <laughs> oh... Thank you, Rans. There we go. All right. So, um, Sabine and uh, Gon, you both happen to notice that there are a lot, actually a lot more red flowers sprouting. There are a few herbalists out here picking stuff already as they start to um, pluck, it, uh, pluck as many flowers as possible to get ready to make potions. Most of them seem to be young uh, dwarven girls in very pretty designed dresses who seem to be out here doing that. Gone to um, start snatching flowers. Like just out of the ground or from the baskets? Either or. Oh. <laughs> okay, so wait, Gone, are you using sleight of hand and trying to do this stealthily, or are you just um full fledged A team going yeah. in? Yeah. Gone, anger them, and then blame it on Rans. That's what you, uh, everyone else does. Okay. 
So <laughs> you, have no, all right. you have no clue what you started. Alright. So as you run up and start grabbing flowers out of the young elf, or dwarven maiden's um, little pots, they, or uh, baskets. God, playing a little stone is a lot harder than I thought it would be. Um, to remember describers. So yes, yeah, so as you start to grab some of the flowers out of them, and as you just start pulling them, pulling them, the girls look at you with shock and don't know really what to do. One calls you uh, a nasty name, something about filthy and worthless. Um, they don't mention- God, not trash! <laughs> the dwarven man just kind of backs up, gets scared from your high bitch voice and fear overall, as you uh, point to Rans and uh, then point back to the flowers. God damn it. He wants flowers! He told me! He's, he's scary. The girls look at you and pat you on the head and walk up, start walk up to Rans. Rans, you are now surrounded by four dwarven maidens, and they're all glaring at you. One of them starts to chew you out, Rans, and tell you how terrible of a father you figure you are, how god awful of a person, and how dare you force a poor innocent little girl to do your bidding. <laughs> I can't hear you. <laughs> Rans, you're just getting chewed out left and right by these women. <laughs> as they're just handing... They just start handing over Gon all of their flowers just to be nice because they feel bad for her. Gon, thank you. One of the girls pats you on the head and says, Ah, oh, no, no worries, sweetie. We appreciate it. We know what it's like to have terrible father figures. <laughs> Rand sits down, but he's still taller than all of the dwarven women. <laughs> oh my god, Rand is gonna end up just going to the Dragonborn lands and be so happy he meets people that like him <laughs> and oh, accept him. God. Oh. The girls finally get tired of yelling at Rans and just kind of walk off as uh, they just leave their baskets with Gone and go off back to working on picking more flowers. God watches them leave it and turns to Rans and gives the biggest grin. I calmly face calm. You now have 43 of these flowers. <laughs> Which should get you about 20 basic healing potions if rolled successfully. God got flowers. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. I didn't expect Rance to get chewed out today. Alright. Um, so yeah, you now have flowers. The pup seems to continue to cuddle into Sabine, and Rans is just sitting there contemplating on murdering everyone in this city. <laughs> Rans is now at this point at that stage of old man anger irritation where he is literally thinking how he can get away with it without getting blamed and blaming it on a dwarf. <laughs> it seems... Um, alright, so, uh, yes, yeah, Sabine, Rans, and Gon, you now have the flowers you need, do you guys head back into the city, or are you gonna see if you can collect more, or is there something else you want to do? I'm going to first, uh, let my pup, uh, have fun while I pick some more flowers, okay. um, just... Alright, uh, Gon is gonna attempt to give the puppy more jerky. <laughs> okay, um, let me roll for that one first. All right, the, as you walk up to the pup with the jerky out, the pup seems to take it cautiously um, and kind of backs away and can, starts to chew on it and numb on it until it swallows the whole thing down in, in uh, one big gulp. Um, Good small one. <laughs> oh, that's better than George Bush when it's a woman. Um, all right, and Sabine, go ahead and give me a medicine roll or a... Uh, Oh wait, they don't think in 5e they have uh, herb herbal rolls. Mm -mm. Stay so, down. Yeah, just give me a nature roll then. D20 plus your nature modifier, please. I will hate on that bush all day long. 
All right. Wow. Holy shit. Okay. <laughs> um, give me a d20 roll and see. Let me know what the number is. No modifier. Glad I sent you to get it. God damn. I guess rangers are good for picking flowers and just about that. All right, you pick up about 14 more, so that adds up to about 27 overall for the potions you can make. Gon's gonna grab some more flowers because they're pretty. All right, Gon, give me a uh, nature check. Rands is just still sitting there at this point. Poor Rands. I smile lightly. Don't pick up poison ivy. Oh what no! The hell? Oh no! Please roll again to see if you confirm. Oh my god! <laughs> roll another d20 minus one. Oh, for the love of God, please get it a zero again. No, please don't get another zero. Okay, you didn't confirm. I'll explain that in a minute for you, Gone. Um, so as you go picking flowers, you pick up this flower that's a nice shiny red, very similar to the ones that you already have. But what's different is where the normal red flowers you get have a white center to them, which is uh, from what you gathered where the nectar comes that is squeezed out of these things to make the potion. You see a really pretty purple one, that ha or one that has a purple center to it. And as you pick it up and put it in the basket, you realize there's a few more of them around the area and you start just kind of plucking them because they're gorgeous looking. In fact, they're prettier than the red, wo normal red ones. <laughs> and we'll deal with that here in a second. All right. So, as you guys continue to pick flowers, uh, let's see. Gone, you managed to get... All right, another, uh, a, about 20 of these red and purple colored ones. Um, while you already have your 40 plus... Well, now, four, uh, what is it? 54 of the, um... No, or of the normal red and white ones. So yeah, uh, you guys managed to do pretty well as the day goes on and the sun continues to bake on your skin lightly. Uh, Rand's just kind of, the heat reminds you of your homeland back in dra the Drafican territories um, and the nice Sahara-like weather. Um, and yes, you guys managed to finish up plucking flowers as uh, Tikva and Bastion arrive around roughly three o'clock in the afternoon. Um, Seeming to be excited, uh, Tikva has got a new armor on, a very shiny colored armor, or red uh, scaled armor, uh, that is brand new out of the box. Right, hot off the smith. Um, and Bastion seems to have a larger coin bag than earlier. Gon's gonna take one of those shiny pretty flowers and take it out. <laughs> Tikva, alright. Tikva. <laughs> okay. So as you run up to Tikva with the flower that has red has red petals in a purple center, um, Tikva, go ahead and give me a nature check to see if you recognize what this is. This is gonna be good. Please get a nat zero one. That would be Please amazing. Please don't. Please poison whoever you have to heal. Oh God. Oh, that reminds me. I've got to give Gon her uh, um, special thing because I forgot to do that earlier. Gon, you'll want to. Ch uh, I'm gonna send you something in your inventory here in a sec. And uh, let's see. <laughs> there it is. All right. Now it's added to your inventory, so feel free to check it out. Uh, All right, I got a three, and I can't see my modifiers, but I think I failed. So, being assist me, you're a nature person. All right, so um, as you look at the flower, it looks very pretty, and it looks to be of the same breed as the normal red and white one, from what you can recognize. Uh, they look to be almost the same color. Um. No, they don't look like the ones you asked for, and Sabine, you're not helping. Um, <laughs> So, yes, as you uh, manage to see that they have collected a total of about uh, 54 of one of the red and white and about 20 of the purple one, uh, purple uh, and red, um, both of which you think should do really well. So, as you uh, start working down, does Sikva, are you going to start sit out there and enjoy the sunny day with Bastion and the group while you grind on these flowers and make them into potions? All 
All right. So as you guys kind of spend the afternoon almost camped out outside the city, enjoying the sun, the quiet, uh, the sounds of a, a music and a far off from a far off traveling bard, the occasional cavern passing by, the smell of nature all around you, Rand's not uh, uh, Rand sitting there contemplating murder and death and everything <laughs> that is his life. Uh, go ahead, Tikva, and give me a medicine check. Uh, give me two of them, please. And otherwise, gone. Uh, is there anything you want to do while Tikva is making these potions? You guys are just kind of camping out outside of the city right now. Maybe. Okay. I'll Gon's going to go look for some more of those flowers. <laughs> All right. We'll deal with that in a sec. Uh, what about you, Bastion? Is there anything you want to do while um, Tikva just makes or makes up some medicine? Okay. Tikva flicks Gon a uh, gold coin for the flowers. Gon dances happily. <laughs> it's got the picture of a very hairy man on the front, uh, the front of the coin. Um. All right. Bastion just kind of sits back, enjoying the sun, contemplating what what to name his bush after finding out is a woman. It was a woman. Uh, Rans, is there anything you wanted to do while Tikva continues to work on her medicine? It's still George. We don't judge. What are you guys picking? Oh, you're going to find out. Bit preoccupied. All right, Rans, no worries. Rans continue, starts playing with Sabine's puppy. Um, and that is not a metaphor for anything. Uh, Sabine, what would you like to do? If anything. Um, I'm going to try and, uh, well, look at some, uh, my items that are magical properties in it. Alright, don't tell me you're casting Identify. <laughs> Maybe. You don't have fuck. you better not have I fucking did. Identify. <laughs> I swear to god I'm banding, banning that spell. <laughs> you don't, thank god. Alright. <laughs> The only item that um, you have that has any magical properties is the uh, Dreadhelm. Mm -hmm. So you're going to try and look at it and figure it out? Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, Alright. Okay. Um, so, Sabine, go ahead and give me an investigation check if you want to know more about the item. Arcana, if you want to sense any magic on it. Um, go on, go ahead and give me a nature check to see if you can find any more flowers. And yeah, Tikva, give me two, um, medicine checks. Um, the first one is for Arcana, the second one is for Invest. God damn it, gone! <laughs> Successfully starts collecting <laughs> proper flowers. Um, wow. Okay. Oh, good to know. Uh, well, you'll have to read them later, Bastion. Um, okay, so Sabine, the first one is your investigation or Arcana? Arcana. All right. It's got magic. <laughs> investigation. From what you can tell, this helm is older. Um, if you have to guess, it's from the Warring Ages of the Elven Kingdoms. Um, and it was uh, item, an item like this seemed to be manufactured quite commonly amongst the... Um, Elven soldiers of uh, the one of the five mini warring kings. Um, so this isn't a very uncommon item. It's actually pretty easy to find if you know where to look in some of the ancient ruins. So, yeah. All right, gone. You managed to rail, uh, roll so badly. You're finding the proper flowers again. You go back what? to collecting red and white flowers after getting distracted because they're pretty. Uh, they suddenly catch your attention again. She is rolling to collect the bad, the good fl the pretty flowers, and she rolled so badly she's going back to collecting the proper ones. Um, when you fail so hard, you succeed. And one sec. Uh, what was that, Tikva? Can't hear you. 
Gotta love that. Alright. Uh, best flower picker ever. Oh yes, Gone is truly the most amazing flower picker. I've never had someone get a zero twice in one game. Um, okay. Tikva. You managed to make the full tw uh, 27 healing potions. They're all basic. I'll add those to your inventory. Um, you also managed to make a couple of uh, very unique potions that seem to glow purple instead of the traditional red color. Uh, you managed to make seven of them. God's gonna walk up to Tikva. Pretty potions. Can have? Alright. Um, can I investigate them? Sure. Bastion looks at those as well. Gone goes into goblin puppy eyes. <laughs> oh my god. Alright. I think. There we go. We're proper. Uh, Nat 1. Alright. Um, so, from what you can tell, they aren't the same, but they are. They seem to be better, in fact, than the uh, normal potions. They seem to be stronger. Slide of hand swipe one. Alright, go ahead and roll sleight of hand to see if she sees you. Oh god. Although you're going against her passive perception, so. Let's see what Gon gets! Oh, well, at least it wasn't a net one this time. Um. <laughs> Alright, let me, um. Let me just pull, uh... Alright, do you drink one? Nah, God, I'm just gonna hold on to it. Okay. It's pretty. Alright, um... Okay, let me uh, just add that in for right now. A custom item. Add, I'll add it to yours in a minute. Just give me two seconds. Purple drink. All right, there we go. So that should update now. Where is it? Come on. Oh my God. I've got to make sure this thing actually updates. There we go. Okay. Wait. Oh my God. Come on. Where are you? Oh, that's why. One moment guys. Let me just update this. I want to make sure I keep track of this before I forget something. This is why I need to get a second monitor. Alright, that works. Um, ba -ba -ba. Let me do the same for... Uh, Gone now? Does Gone want to investigate the thing? Or is Gone just going to look at it? Pretty keep. Okay. Alright. Do do do. Add... Pretty purple potion. God nods wildly. Alright. Um. The red ones. <laughs> you gonna give Gon uh, one of your uh, basic healing potions? Okay. Uh, let me add that. Do. do, do, do. Okay. Uh, you now have a potion of healing. They're gone. Let me pull up the equipment for her. And remove one of your potions. There we go. Alright. Can I try to investigate one? Yeah, sure, Bastion. Feel free. Let's see if you can figure out what this thing is. Uh, you gotta do roll. There we go. Alright, it rolled it. Alright. Um, so, as you look at the thing, it seems to be a stronger potion, uh, than what the others are, and it seems to have a, uh, very strong scent to it. Um, you don't recognize that. Can I roll Arcana on it? See what it does? Sure. 
Go ahead and roll Arcana on it. I feel it'd be hilarious if I actually, actually decided to investigate this. <laughs> I think it'd be hilarious. Like... Drink it. Just drink it. It's worth it. Oh, I have a plan for this. You can't see your modifiers? Your modifier for Arcana is plus five. Fifteen! So you recognize this uh, potion as something kind of interesting. Uh, it seems to have a very strong magical property to it. But you can't tell exactly what that magical property is. You're not sure. You could drink it. Just give it to Sabine. That'll make everyone feel better. You're, you're gonna have to wait to see what I do with it, because it's so worth it. Oh, okay. DM isn't trying to kill anyone tonight. DM is stoned off his ass and doesn't mind, uh, not... Or, doesn't mind no one dying. Alright, uh, Sabine, you're gonna try it? Or are you gonna look at it? Sabine, wake up. Fuka! God damn it. He's useless as ever. Can I absorb it? Are you gonna Are you gonna try, Bastion? I think I think Tikva said no. No. Oh. Uh Bastion, are you gonna try? Roll for investigation? If you want. I want to see if Bastion's going to uh, try and absorb this thing. Go ahead, Bastion. Absorb it. Um... <laughs> I love it when I can scare you so bad with just a potion. Uh, wow. Wow, that's a net 20. Darn. Uh, and what are you rolling, uh, Sabine? What's the modifier? Investigation. Investigation? Yeah. This potion has never been made before, but it reminds you of something you've read in a book once. Um, the potion itself looks very similar and smells very similar to how a the quote-unquote green potion of mystery that, um... Logger, uh, King Logger of House Entrium once uh, managed to not only make but also sell in mass quantity. It was supposedly a very strong healing potion that would also give you resistance to poison damage for three days afterwards. Now it's similar, but the problem is that potion supposedly glimmered green while this one glimmers purple. Bastion, sweetie, can I see that potion real quick? Bastion doesn't have one. The only ones who have one oh. are Tikva and Gon. And Gon is like staring at it, enjoying it. Enjoying the pretty colors. Nobody knows Gon has one, though. <laughs> Gon just kind of looks stares at Can I see cloak. one, please? <laughs> Gon's gonna hastily shove it into her, their, into her bag. Okay. Alright, uh, Tikva hands you one. Sabine, what are you gonna do with it? Hand me a potion. She did. No, another potion. Uh, oh. the red one. Oh, okay. Alright. I, I pop open one of the, uh, the purple one. Mm-hmm. And give a little sip. And give a little sip? Yep. Give me a constitution, uh, saving throw to see what happens. <laughs> Guys, I'm not a registered healer. All right. You managed to... Uh, where's the dice? There it is. Um, one. 
that's okay. 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 You take 45 points of damage, but find yourself immune to poison afterwards. Wow. Sabine drops to the ground in pain, choking on her own on the drink as she starts to foam at the mouth a tad bit. She's unconscious, but not dead. She still has a pulse. I'm just gonna screech in healing words. Healing words. <laughs> All right. Uh, go ahead and what roll for that? I think it was. Um, it's healing word. It's one d four plus one. Yes. Yeah, so go ahead and roll for uh to see how much they heal. You get three. God, just screaming, Fred! You recognize Sabine now where, why this potion looked familiar <laughs> as you suddenly come conscious. The Yuanti like to drink things like these um, to give them visions. It causes them pro uh, oh, weird visions of the future, supposedly. Do I get any of this? Yeah, congratulations! You've now gained a custom spell, which I'll add later, called Foresight. <laughs> Bad news? You are permanently down as well because of this 10 HP from your original HP. Damn it. Because this is considered a permanent damage. So instead of getting max HP of 25, you are now at 15 as your max HP. But you are... Uh, and you now have, you gained, what, was it three HP points? So you're at, you should be at three health. Okay. Mm -hmm. Let's see if I hit refresh, make sure everything's updated. Yes, all right. Um, so yes, now you uh, realize that what this potion is, is a potion of death. <laughs> we are totally sitting there smirking. <laughs> Oh my god. I want all those potions chucked away immediately. Uh, so these are weapons now, but weapons for enemies. We need no. Oh no. That, mm -mm. Um, we can't hear you. Can't hear you still. No, she's saying no. Also, here's a normal potion. Don't drink what I brew next time. A regular old brewmaster in the group. <laughs> I really want to see what Gon's going to do with this thing now. <laughs> <laughs> Sweetie, are you okay? Mm-hmm. Are you sure? Mm -hmm. Alright. I got I got pretty gold, see? Oh my god. Alright. Uh also Bastion was your passive perception. Uh, Bastion's passive perception is not that high, if I remember correctly, but let me check that to make sure I'm correct. His passive perception is a 9, as he states. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. Well, with the invention of this uh, newfound potion of death that Tikva has made, um, congratulations on that. Truly an impressive find. Um... We're going to call it here for this session. We're going to come back next time with the group leaving the city and heading on their uh, heading on a boat towards the Red Orc lands now that they are prepared for everything. I thank you all for watching. I hope the players enjoyed, and we will see you next Sunday at 2 p.m. PST as per usual. 
We'll have Bastion back on the mic, Tikva will somehow not be robotic-y, and Gon will get up to more mischief with Sabine's puppy. Thank Bye. you for watching.